Hello, my friends. How are you? This is Joanne. I am going to do a Confessions of a Paper Edit Copa 20 Days of Cup Files layout in my mini album that I have been working on all month. And this is going to be short and sweet. I have been super sick and I lost my voice. I had upper respiratory infection, so I am a little late on my projects because I was really sick and I couldn't talk. So this is going to be short and sweet, hopefully. I am scrapbooking two pictures of myself and my two nephews. I don't think I've ever shown you my nephews before. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? Oh my God, right? And he is the dad to her, my great niece, that you see me scrap all the time. This is her papa. So we're going to do that. These um, were are my sister's babies. My sister has passed away. So I'm extremely close to the boys. And I'm going to put the two pictures on this side, kind of crooked. They're about a four by three. I backed them with two little pieces of scrap paper. And I mean, this was definitely scrapped. I definitely, I just used the edges of some scraps that I had left. So let's go ahead and put this down. I hope you're all doing good. I'm just praying that I don't have a coughing spell during this video. I'll have to stop the video and take care of that and come back because who wants to listen to that? All right, so I think I'm good with that. Yep, I'm good with that. So let me put some more ATG, ATG down and get this on. There, got it. I can't talk while I'm putting stuff down. Have you ever noticed that? My cat is screaming in the background. Here she comes. Look at, don't you think that the two of us have exactly the same smile? I love that. We both have these little dimple things when we smile. It cracks me up. All right. Oh, my God, my cat. She's got a toy in her mouth, and she runs around screaming. It's wicked funny. So the awesome cup file I'm using today is these penguins. It's so cute. You saw a picture of it at the beginning. You get two penguins with this cup file. I put him here. And look, at I just backed him with some black paper. And I used my scrapbook.com glitter marker. And just put glitter all around everything. A couple different pieces of scrap. You know I'm using up my past hip kit. Christmas kits. So there's that, and I had some pom-pom trim, and I just took a little piece of the pom-pom and put it in his the top of his little um, hat. My goodness, I can't talk or think or anything. So, speaking of pom-pom trim, I think I'm going to put some on this page. That would be cute right here, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's do that, my friends. We're going to do that. Okay, so if I put this here, then I'm going to want him over here because I don't want him on top of the pom-pom trim. Put him here. And he does have a little face, which we'll see in a minute. Oh, I missed a little piece while I was backing that. So let's go ahead and put him down. Let me cut a piece of this too. See, I'm all over the place. You can tell I don't feel good, huh? Sorry about that. I hope that you stick with me here. All right, there's that. I got this at um, Joann's, just in case you wanted some for your December document or anything. It's my favorite pom-pom trim. All right, let's put him down. I don't want too much dimension on him. Oh my goodness, I did a terrible job trimming this guy out. Poor little penguin. Get my glue, fine liner bottle, scotch tacky glue, in case you wanted to know. All right, there we go. See, my voice is starting to go, so I might not talk during some of this, just to try to save it a little bit. There. Do do. Okay. Perfect. Glue that down. Let me get his little nose. 
think that's his nose. Yeah. And then if something's not sticking down at the end, I will always double check my layouts and glue again if necessary. Let me go ahead and get this. I'm right handed, so I'm going to do it this way. I'm just going to put two strips of ATG down the side of this page. There's a big chunk of it there to flatten that out. And then I will take my pom-pom trim and put it right on there like that. And probably off camera, I will go in and probably glue that a little bit down in some spots that aren't necessarily adhered properly. So what I'll do is I'll cut it. These are my mom's old, old shears and they work so good on fabric and ribbon. They don't catch it and they cut right through the first time. Okay, let me do it this way. Blank page I haven't gotten to yet. That'll be coming up in a future video. Get this little piece off here. There, let me put these away. Oh my gosh, so dangerous. <laughs> Can't get good scissors like that anymore. And then like what I'll do is I'll go in afterwards and put glue down here, you know? And then have that stick down really, really good. Okay, so there's there. Got that done. Um, let me see. What else was I going to do? In the kits, there was this word that I left on some acetate that says, oh, what fun. Let me see if I can. Yeah, that looks really cute. I like that a lot. Okay, let's just put that down. I think if we put the fun word down first, it'll be easier to line up the two top words. So let's put these here. That looks straight. Okay, here we go. Put this one down. Oops, cat fur. All right. Really, really, really cute. I also have some Copa cup files. Sorry about my arm. Um, snowflakes, aren't they awesome? You get a whole bunch of different snowflakes and you can just copy and paste them and make them the size that you want and put them, I put them all on one piece of white paper and I made I caught like 20 of them at the same time so I can have them whenever I need them. I love that. Here's this poor little guy's face. We haven't gotten his face down. This is not sticking. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. So let's put his little face down. This is just the cut, the ink cut um, from the cut file. And I really liked it because it's white. So I'm just going to use it. And I put two little... Gina Marie enamel dots for his pink little cheeks. All right, let's get his little face glued down. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. There's nothing I can do about it right now. Get this in there really good. I think that I will grab a napkin. Oh boy, I'm trying not to cough. I'll grab a napkin here for any extra glue. Put this piece right back in where it's supposed to go. So cute. And I think that he his little eyes need to be an enamel dot too. Oh my goodness. Listen to my kitten screaming. Alright. There's this. So let's get some enamel dots on there and these enamel dots I don't trust to not pop off so I'm definitely gonna put a little teeny 
dollop of glue inside the little cut file holes that the eyes are for. Let's see if I can get this down there. Oh, I did it. Usually I have such a tough time with little teeny things. Yeah, that's much better with an enamel dot in his eye. It gives it some nice dimension. Because this cut file is so super cute. I definitely think that it needs to be dressed up a touch. Oops, I knocked it right off there. Look at me. Oh my god. Alright, put it back down. Nope, it's not staying. Gonna have to put a little bit more glue. I kind of didn't want to, but we're gonna. Alright. There. My goodness. I have to fight so hard with my little enamel dots. Alright, there he is. Isn't he cute? Look at my little penguin. Oh my goodness gracious. I did use my scrapbook.com glitter marker and put glitter all around. Um... I wish that that had fit right there a little bit better, but that happens. And then I'm going to see if I could put some of these awesome snowflakes around. That would be cute if he was holding a snowflake. Oh, I really like that. Let me see if I can get one over here. I think I like that one better down here. Get one over here, and then I can put enamel dot in the middle of that, too. That would be so cute. What else do I have? I have this puffy heart that says special family. And maybe, I wonder if I could put it right in the middle of the snowflake. I don't know. Maybe it would look better up there. Yeah, I like that better. All right, we'll do that. Let's get this little one down over here. Right on him. I think that is so cute. It looks like he's kind of holding it. Got my paper towel. Green looks cute. Let's go with that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so let's put a little dot in the middle of the snowflake. Get a green enamel dot right there. Yeah, he's cute. Nope, I definitely like this one better up here. So let's get that in there. I'm going to glue those whole, all the snowflakes down really, really well. Off camera, I don't want you to have to watch me do that. It'd be too boring. Just because I don't want them to get caught on anything and ripped because it's mini album and there's no page protector. Yada, yada, yada. All that good stuff. Okay. One more little enamel dot in here. Finish gluing those down later. I definitely think I'm going to just put this sentiment right in the middle of that snowflake. This came together super quick. All right. You know what? Let me put some glue on this. Just to make sure. There. Hold that for a second. Alright. Now I'm wondering if I need anything else. I had picked out some floral ephemera over here that I have off to the side. I don't think you can see it. I don't necessarily think that I need it now. That I have... Uh... <clears throat> gotten everything down oh that looks cute that acetate snowflake on the cut file snowflake so what i think i'm gonna do is grab my glossy accents and like usual it is probably clogged so i'm gonna going to quickly remove that enamel dot Open this up. I'm not even gonna bother trying to look because I know it's clogged. It clogs every single time, but it's so worth it because it works perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna use my glossy accents because this is an acetate snowflake and you'll never be able to see it. Hold that for a moment. And now I am going to 
put another glossy accent right in the middle to get that enamel that back on there which might be a little tricky because I think it's going to slide around. Hopefully it doesn't. I'm going to push. And then I'm going to stop touching it so I don't knock it off. <laughs> All right. I really like that. Let me see. I like that too. Let me take this off and see. This is a puffy sticker with that came in the same package that says Merry and Bright. And it's pink. So, I might have to use that because it's pink. Let me see. Yep, I'm using it. There we go. Um, oh, his little eye fell off somehow. That's all right. I'll get another one. This is what happens when you don't let things dry. I don't have the patience. I want everything to be dry immediately. All right, there's that. His little eye is back. I wonder what happened to the enamel dye. I must have hit it with my arm or something. Stick this little ephemera piece in there. It's cute. I like it, yeah. Let me take the end off here. Let me see. Why not? It looks adorable, and the entire purpose of this mini album is to use up these past kits because... I want to use the new one for this year's December Documented. Let me see if I can get that in there. I don't mind that either. Let's go for it. What I might also do is I think I'm going to come in with my Nouveau Glitter Drops. It looks like snow and put that around somewhere. Maybe I'll use that as enamel dots and put some around on him to make it look like he has snow on them and put some right on the snowflakes to make it look like they have snow on them. Okay, guys, I came back on to show you what I did because I ended up adding a lot of stuff. So I put a flower here and a snowflake here. I put enamel dots on in the middle of each one. I stuck a little acetate flower in here and a little present. Isn't that cute? And I did use, <clears throat> sorry, my Nouveau Glitter Drops. And I went kind of cuckoo crazy with them. I put them on everything. See the glitter on the tree? I had that little tree ephemera just because I loved it and I thought it matched. And I'm trying to use everything up. But there was dots on the paper. And I put a drop of Nouveau in every single dot and in the middle of each of the snowflakes on the paper all over my cute little penguin and I gave him some crystal drop buttons on his little belly Very cute so there's that I added Nouveau onto that leaf and glued this down very securely so when you close your book which I can't do right now because everything's still wet Wait, hold on it'll look like that on the outside and when you put it on yourself so there's the final a final I'm not gonna do any more but I did add so much and I said well I better turn the camera back on and show the final pages all right thank you so much for stopping by again i really appreciate you i hope this wasn't too bad with my voice being gone and being sick and i hope you enjoyed this i'm going to leave the confessions of a paper at cup file shop below and our facebook group please come join us there are free cup files this month for christmas from virginia walker so come on over join us and grab those for yourself, okay? Thank you.